So we're starting out in, enjoying uh, and the less tension and pressure and people. <clears throat> Just a way more relaxed deal. I mean, you're not <clears throat> you're not calling the contractor wondering, <clears throat> am I going to have 70 guys? Am I going to have 80 guys? Uh, the cane cutters are happy to do the work. They're well paid. We got cane, the, like I say, the cane cutters that work between three fields. They're probably working seven to eight hours a day, <clears throat> making maybe $125 easy you know so they enjoy doing the work it's just a and after you get your cane cut well you're four guys pretty much right on through you know because our program is we can usually pick into in 10 days and then the same crew we use for picking we can use for pickup you know most of the time we might overlap a day or two so it's just a real comfort easy feeling you're back in control uh, the machine may break down, but you get it fixed. A pickup machine may break down. It's nothing like having 75 guys quit on you. So how's your tension level and uh, versus the days of hand picking? It's much easier. I mean, it's you actually work a little harder because you're physically involved, you're checking the machine, you're monitoring things, but your stress level is less because when you're hand picking, you're just sitting around in the pickup going nuts. You yeah. Know? You're yeah. watching all these, you're sitting down there and you're watching all these guys with all these pans. They come in, you know, and you see the 20 pounds of grapes. I mean, it's flying all over. I mean, your comfort level is just way, I mean, if you got a problem with a machine or something's happened, you stop the whole crew, you check it out and see what's going on. Try stopping 100 people after you get them in the field. Or changing what they're doing. Yeah, or changing what they're doing. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just impossible. And then you don't, you don't stop. 20 bad ones out of the 100 because the contractor's got to have 100. So yeah. you take the good with the bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or the machine picking, again, a four-man crew, maybe five in some cases. It's just a real easy, uh, low-stress thing, you know. So you're happier about this, more pleased? Uh... Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and Ken, you started to say something about just the... Uh, personal tension level well, or enjoyment uh, or you are more actively involved in a process but the stress level is day and night different yeah I mean, you, it's just completely better okay. much better than before Phys physical work and labor is easy to take for me than that mental stuff oh sitting yeah. Around, yeah yeah sitting around wondering right. how many guys are going to show up how are they going to do you know yeah. what i mean so when yeah. things go on i mean uh I mean, let's face it, hand-picking raisins, I've always said this, can is the hardest, dirtiest job we do in the field. You yeah, I mean? got to be. And as time goes on, I don't doubt that one of these days it might be illegal. You know, like yeah. a short hole a cotton or yeah. something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who knows, you know what I mean? I mean, people all day picking up 20, 25 pounds of grape, throwing them on the ground, and then when you roll, they're on their knees, you know what I mean? It's just a, yeah. It's just a hard, dirty job, you know, and the way we do it... I mean, from the cane cutting to everything else, it's put a number on it. Ten times easier, twenty times easier. You know, yeah, you know, good. You know, you know yeah. it's not stoop labor. Yeah, labor. Uh -huh. yeah you're yeah. standing uh -huh. up most yeah. of the time. Uh -huh. And then mental, mentally, well, you know, it's much easier on the, on a guy like me because you're in control. You know what I mean? If something happens, you stop the crew. You stop a, you know, a ten like you, Ken says, a ten man cane cutting crew. You you straighten them out or whatever. It's nothing like hand picking where it's just. Chaos. Pretty much where you just, yeah, you just open up the doors and you let them go. You know what I mean? You're pretty much out of control. I mean, you can go and say this and say that, but it's not. Yeah. You're going to do a whole lot. The frustration. You run, yeah, you run off 100 people. Where are you going to go get another yeah. 100 people? You know? Yeah. Rate, the margin is so small for error. We got that whatever 28-day window to get them in before the rains come, you know. So, you know, it just puts you a lot back in control. And when you're in control, your stress level is going to be less. There you go. You know, it really is. Uh -huh.